Last time on Sailing Wanderlust, we cleaned up the engine bay ready to receive our new engine. This time we repack the stuffing box, get a crane to remove the mast for re-rigging and crane in the new engine. Okay, you got it. Now, I, now that one's up the top. Yeah, the other one's on the bottom. That one's up the top. This all just in for in, in for okay, in. Gotcha. You, then they won't have a line where the water can get in, is it? Take it on it. Right now, get your no nozzle your head and push that in and see if that'll tap in. It'll push them right back. Now that's and got you, an L. Yep. So I've got to find the L. There we go. The L, L. Right on it. Now get your little tap of them you got there, a little mallet behind you, and give that a tap on the end and drive it in, right? Well, I can still push it in. Do you yeah, want right, to push? Yeah, we'll do, do that. I just want you to get in as far as you can. Okay. Wait, you need more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she comes. Put your tongue out. Do you ever need another, at least another two? At least? Yeah. <laughs> that that goes to the bottom. That was the bottom one. Yeah, the last one was in top. Beautiful one. Still easy, isn't it? Hey? Oh, it is. Okay, another one, please. Any more story, mate? So it's really handy to get a meter. Oh, you're going to use it all. And what you don't use, you can pre-cut them up now and put them in this plastic bag and keep them in the drawer. They don't, they're always there when you want them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because for a little while, they'll take a little while to settle in because they'll, they'll squeeze up and we'll just start doing those nuts, huh? Mm. We're only going to put it in loose, that's all. Okay, that's two more. What do you want? Put that bolt through? Can put that thing in again, try to see how far it'll go. Okay, it's touching. Yeah, now you're starting to get tired. So you okay. want one more in? Well, can you still wriggle that shaft? Don't worry about that. Leave that. No, leave that there. Okay, good. So we've got to go be able to get it in there. Yeah. Well, how much do you reckon you've got in? Pull that, that thing out again, see how much we got left on it, on the spigot. There. That arch. If you put another one in, you're not going to be in far, are you? No. I would say that's enough. Put it, put your bolts in there, and just get it in loose, and that's where it stays. Huh? Okay. Once the stuffing box was done, we cold in the crane. After several goes securing the crane to the mast, we finally got it lifted.
Unfortunately, it wasn't as straightforward as dropping the engine in its place. All right, so <clears throat> we've just put in the engine frame or cradle. Mm -hmm. um, so what we did is removed it because originally it didn't have these blocks in. Okay, it was just the base. Um, but what happened is with the new motor, we didn't have enough clearance between the the floor, the floor here to the sump. So what we've had to do is give it some elevation. So we've welded up some nice chunky blocks on it, nice and strong still. Um, I primed it, painted it, galved, um, and we've extended it. So now the motor that's behind me, uh, if you can see it, mm -hmm. uh, match the colour. Uh, eventually we'll go on here so it's all in now so we'll see what happens now we're waiting on the prop and the shaft and that goes through there straight down um, and that's getting made and then we can put the motor on here and then we'll take it from there because then there's all the wiring and everything else <coughs> so that's it pretty good <laughs> 